Today we are going to prepare this beautiful 1.7 kg T-bone steak and we are going to prepare it with the reverse sear method. So stay tuned. This is a very big piece of meat and it has two parts. One is the loin, also called New York strip, and the tenderloin and we call it also filet mignon. So let's place the meter. I normally like to place it inside the, the loin, the loin part, because uh, it's probably the most difficult one to cook also. So let me find a good uh, entry. I'm going to place it like this, in this way, in order to reach nice inside uh, near to the bone. Like this. So we're going to place the meat and let me cut also this piece which actually we don't need. So I'm going to place it right here. Up, standing up like this. As you can see, I've placed uh, the T-bone on an indirect cooking. So I have a half moon of ceramic underneath, so it will prevent it to cook too, too fast the meat. This half moon I left it open, so I have the heat just going around. And we are going to wait until it reaches the 44 degrees centigrade inside. In order to control the temperature, the Camaro has a two vents, one upper one and the lower one. And in order to control the right temperature, in this case at 120 degrees centigrade or about 250 to 60 Fahrenheit, I'm going to open and close this vent. I also have a delicious big potato that I want to make it with sour cream. So these are grilled potatoes. I'm going to put also another grill here and place it on top. These ones I have in direct, then I'm going to turn them around. And for the chimichurri, I have some very nice ingredients. Uh, Peterselli, scallion, garlic, pepper, salt, pepper, and virgin olive oil. Vinagreta, or this is a uh, Vinegar from wine, have some smoked salt, and nice crushed pepper. Remove the seeds because otherwise it's a little bit too hot. And we have one garlic, one, two, two garlics. Okay, let's make vinagreta. So One and a half tablespoon of vinegar. The generous amount of two spoons or more of olive oil. One, two. Salt, oh, sorry, pepper. And 
this is the base of a delicious sauce. Let's put the ingredient inside. Oregano, dry oregano. It gives it an extra taste. A little bit more of olive oil. Yeah, this sauce is ready. Okay, let me turn the potatoes. And the meat I just checked has turned at 22 degrees centigrade inside. So we still need, the, we have halfway. And uh, about 25 minutes have passed. For the big potatoes, and a very nice sauce is of course with sour cream and a little bit of cheese. And I put a little bit of maggi and salt and pepper. There we go. Maggi, like this, fresh chicken and pepper, and of course salt, of course salt, sea salt. Okay, I put it in the fridge. The steak now has reached the 44 centigrade internal temperature, so it's ready to take a rest. And this is a good way, that's why the reverse sheet is so nice, because you can place the meat, let it rest. And this resting time, you don't have to do it afterwards. In many occasions when you make a steak quickly on the, on the grill, you have to let it rest at least 10-15 minutes. This way we are going to let rest the meat in advance. So then after the sitting, when the meat is still nice and hot, we can slice it and eat it right away. I have decided that for the sitting, I'm going to use uh, this part of the grill, but I'm not going to use the traditional grill. I'm going to use a flat uh, surface. So it's a cast iron flat surface. And that's why I'm going to move my big potatoes make place for the other cast iron plate. So we take this away and place the cast iron flat surface. There we go. So the meat is telling us that uh, we have reached the 44 degrees inside. So it's time to take them out and let them rest. ready also. So now we are going to increase the temperature of the Kamado all the way up to 260 degrees giving even more to have a nice hot surface for the last searing. The searing must be very quick a couple of minutes per side and it's done. And before we wrap the steak because I didn't put any salt and pepper before I'm going to do it now. 
smoked flakes soap. Generous amount of pepper, like pepper. And we let it rest. Meanwhile, we will increase the temperature of the Camaro up to the temperature that we wanted to have for the seating. Okay, so the big potatoes are also ready. I'm going to take them out. Ooh, yes. So we have reached the 250, 260, almost 500 Fahrenheit temperature to start to do the seating. So I'm going to prepare the meat. I'm going to brush just a little touch of the chimichurri, just a little bit. Turn it around. Okay, I'm going to place it now standing up. We are almost there. I'm going to take him out. We reached the temperature of the 50 or inside the meat. Oh, okay, this beautiful steak is ready. I'm going to take out the rope of the meter. Okay, let me check this out. So, This is our tenderloin, this is our loin. I'm going to cut it and start to cut the first tenderloin. Carefully. Oh, look at this piece. Nice and juicy. Beautiful tenderloin. Let me show you what we have. A beautiful medium rare, nice and juicy tenderloin steak. Let's place a little bit of tenderloin here. And our chimichurri sauce. Buen apetito. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you the next time. Bye bye.